contributing fully to the U.S. right now. They were talking specifically about El Salvador and Haiti, two countries where TPS was recently revoked by the Trump administration. Right. And between these countries, we're talking about the people from those countries. They're contributing close to $170 billion in GDP. No, look, but I'm not. I mean, year, let, and they're be, making a full uh, contribution. Well, to the I mean, economy it's actually a pretty. It's a complicated. It's a complicated picture. And, but I, I agree with you. If you're saying that a lot of people who come from those countries are good people, I, of course, I completely agree. But the idea that you're not allowed to say that they're pretty crummy countries, Haiti, for example, or El Salvador, I've been in both of them. That's why people are leaving them to come here. So I don't understand what the sin is. You're not allowed to point out that other countries aren't as good places to live as America? Like, what is the problem? There is definitely an, an issue here, because basically what ha what's happening here is that the president is connecting and articulating the same vision that we saw in Charlottesville. When they're talking about, we won't replace you, with the, the, with the I mean, chanters and the marchers we're talking about try to by this time, it's, 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 it's the same thing. And, and it's, it's look, not the same it's the same, thing. Look, he and said, it's the same. Oh, slow down. What happened, to, you what to, happened to the whole any, masses okay. that, on the Statue of Liberty that we're talking about? Try and track with me here, okay? The president, from what we know, and maybe he said other things we don't know about, but what we know, he said these countries are crummy places, okay? They're holes or whatever, used profanity. But the people who left those countries, some of them rode trains all the way through Mexico or hid in a wheel well of a plane to leave, they would agree with that. So why the outrage? Is it you have to lie and pretend, as Joan Walsh does, that, I don't know, I'd live in Norway or Haiti, like... We've gotten to a place where nobody can be honest about anything. Do you see the point? Well, for, for, first of all, one of the things is that do, do we apply the same, um, the same metric to uh, Eastern Europe? We're talking about countries that are not doing too well right now in crime measures and economic uh, measures I mean, and, 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 and other issues. You're not going to hear seem, me say, well, well, I'm moving to Romania. Seem, but we seem to be applying this, uh, this only to countries where there are brown people, no, such I as mean, Haiti you and know El what? Salvador. Let's be totally And real. we're talking about Norway, like you said yesterday, which, again, ties back to this social reengineering that, okay, no, that say, they're trying I, to I, I don't want to get all fact-based on you, but Norway is, according to the United well, Nations. Important. Well, here, here are some. The United Nations says that Norway is the most developed country in the world. Its sovereign wealth fund, I think, is the biggest in the world because of the oil discoveries offshore there. As you know, it's the richest place in the world, mm -hmm. okay? Haiti is the poorest place in the hemisphere and has been for a long time. People are actually staying in this country right now legally because Haiti is so bad, we don't think they should have to return. So if you say Norway is a better place to live and Haiti's kind of a hole, anyone who's been to those countries or has lived in them would agree. But we're jumping up and down, oh, you can't say that. Why can't you say that? Well, let me tell you something. Most people in Norway, according to most polls, do not want to live under Trump's America right now. That's fine. You're kind of so, missing the point, so, which is because it, the overwhelming... It's, it's a question about values. Okay. You know, you are attaching this label to people who come from predominantly brown countries. And that is a problem. I don't know why And that is how decisions insist... on TPS are right. being made. Oh, okay. no, you know, uh, when, when you okay. take Away legal status because these people were here I, legally. Okay, hold on. Can and I just ask you again? Let me just try to ask you a reasonable from people question. people who are contributing okay, right, you know, to okay. this country, then you know, are, are you using but, but, but the statute wait, or are you wait, using wait prejudice second. to make those decisions? Right. Prejudice, racism, white supremacy, fine. But let's get back to it. So you're Norway, saying, Haiti. I mean, one is the richest country in the world. The other is one of the poorest countries in the world. You think it's immoral to point that out? It's a statement of values. I'm asking you a very simple question. If Haiti isn't such a bad place, why don't we say to the people who are here temporarily in refuge from Haiti, go back, it's great. We don't say that because it's not great. Actually, it's everything the president said it was. It's not an attack on Haitians. It's an acknowledgement that their country is not as nice as other countries. And if you can't even say that out loud without being called a racist by people like you and the morons over on MSNBC, oh, you're then just you can't. Me a moron. I'm not calling you a moron. I'm saying anybody who says that's a racist statement should explain how it is. And you can't.